Hi friends, let's read Mission Possible. Mission Possible. Ah, uh, Ronco stretched out under the warm sun. It was always fun to hang out with old friends even though they weren't best at sharing their treats. Chunk beamed with pride. Look what I mean. My favorite Paris howled. It's cake! Cole barked, spilling the secret. Made with honey. Save some from me! Ronco yelped. The pooches gobbled up the scrumptious honey cake, but their feast was, uh, was cut by short by some unwelcome visitors. Stop! Don't eat that! Cole yelled at Bar. Here's Help! Get them off me! Chunk cried. They make me each like crazy. Quick, run for cover! Runkle bellowed, diving into the bushes. He covered and covered his eyes as something flew straight toward him. No! Flexing her deepest muscles, the breeze hummed. Help me! But Runkle was too scared to listen. He sped away through the trail bet between the trees, down the hill, and way into the farmer's field. <laughs> Alex groaned, then struggled to her feet and shook her cuff. What just happened? Ronka whimpered, pinning wildly. I'm scared of bees and I can't get this thing on me. Unexpectedly, the bee released her and started zigzagging around Ronka's face. Alex scrunched her forehead and leaned closer. I think it's trying to tell us something. Oh, Ronk appeared at the bee. I need your help, the bee bumbled. My name is Phoebe. My family and I were stolen from the beekeeper who loves and cares for us. I was the only bee to escape. Will you help me find my family? Why would I help a bunch of bees? I don't even know, Ronk thought. They never done any for me. Please, Phoebe begged. I don't know what else to do. Suddenly, Bronco remembered a poem his mother used to read him. We all have choices, some great and some small, to help someone who can't help us at all. And we must decide to sit or stand tall. Will you turn away or say yes to the call? Ronka knew what he needed to do. Of course we'll help you, Phoebe, but we're gonna need a bigger team for the job. Ronka whistled loudly. The tree shook. Kelsey pounced uh, over the hills with each and pursed on her ear. Hello, friends. Ronka relieved the bee rescue mission to Chelsea and Ethan. We're eager to help. What's the last thing you remember? Splashing. It was supposed to be like someone was walking through water. The streams, shouted Ethan. I saw one hopping along the branches on a tree down there. The five friends raced toward the raven. Which way to go, Bronco wondered. He sniffed around. Left! He shouted and took along the southern edge. Paws and hooves raced to the woods as Bobby whirred her wings against the wind. I think we're close, Phoebe Buzz. I can smell my cousins. Suddenly, then Ethan tugs Chelsea's ear. What's the matter, Ethan? Ethan clenched Chelsea's fur with a mighty grip. I think I hear a lawn blower. Phoebe froze and said, I don't like those things. A chow! Alex rubbed her eyes. I took it out. Bronco offered. The brave pup disappeared into a clump of bushes. Soon after, his friends heard loud barking. It's not a lawnmower. It's the bees. I found them. Phew, buzzed Sophie. The friends hurtled after Bronco's voice. There's the hive. Bobby swooped down to the entrance of the box. We're here to rescue you. A course of wild... Bunning exploded. Bronco and Fred looked at one another in confusion. They won't leave without the queen, Phoebe explained, but she's too afraid. The furry friends leaped into the back of the truck. 
Alex peepered into the hole. Miss Queen, we're here to help. You're not safe here. The Queen trembled. But well, what if I don't make it? We believe in you, Bronco Bark. Charlie smiled encouragedly. Your family is counting on you to lead them home. You have work to do, Miss Queen. <gasps> Ethan chirped. And you can't do it here. Bronco's ears twitched. Hurry, I think someone's coming. Miss Queen took a deep breath. Okay, I can do this. She raved up her wings and commanded the colony. Move out! A buzzing cloud of yellow and black swarmed out of the box. Follow us, while we instructed. Run! Broke a yell. As the friends appeared to the raven, they stopped to catch their breath. Thank you for saving us, Miss Queen exclaimed. We can find a way back from here. It takes a team to make a mission work, Bronco barked proudly. Woof, woof, woof. Chunk, Cobe, and Paris pounced into the back. Well, Bronco, where have you been? Bronco and his friends slept well that night. They had found the courage to do what's right, not what was easy. In the beach, well, they had on their own missions to complete. It might be easier to do nothing at all, but God asked you to answer the call. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also the interest of others. The end. I hope you like this story. See you in the next video. Bye.